In this video, we will be starting the modern frequency distribution or the continuous series. In continuous series, you are given the class intervals, right? So the method is Z, which is the mode is equal to L1, which is the lower limit of the modern class plus F1 which is the frequency of the model class F0 the frequency of the preceding class of model class 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 F2 is the frequency succeeding the model class which is the next higher class or the post model class into I which is the class interval for the size of the model group. So your Z is the value of mode. F1 is the frequency of the model class. F0 is the pre model class frequency or the frequency preceding the model class F2 is the post model class frequency or frequency succeeding the model class I is the size of the model class. So this is the method you use for calculating the mode in the continuous series or the frequency distribution series. Again you have two methods in this. Number one is inspection method. Number two is the continuous, uh, sorry, grouping method. So let's see the numerical on the inspection group. First, let's take the class intervals. Zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Then we take the frequency. From 2, 5, 7, 5 and 2. So we will see the highest frequency is 7. So we fi find out the model class which is 20 to 30. Now we find out the model class but we need the value of the mode which lies between this 20 to 30. So we will use this formula. This is F1. Frequency preceding the model class this is F0 and frequency succeeding the model class or the post model class frequency which is F2. And this we've got the model class. Now let's calculate Z which is equal to L1 plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 into I. So your L is 30, sorry L is 20, uh, lower limit of the model class. F1 is 7 minus 5. 2 into 7 minus 5 minus F2 is 5 into your class sizes from 20 30 it's 10. So 20 plus 2 divide by 2 7 is 14. 14 minus 10 is 4 into 10. So the model value is 25. So, in this way we can find out mode which is equal to 25. This is the inspection method. 
in the case of continuous series. Now let's do it in the case of grouping method. Now this is the question. We are, you are given the class interval and the frequency. And class intervals are given in the form of continuous series or the frequency distribution series. The first thing that you do is the grouping table in the grouping method. So let's make the grouping table. We will take the class intervals. The frequency. And the columns so 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, then 30 to 35. Frequency we have 1, 2, 10, then 4, 10, 9, 2. Right? So you consider it as the first column, second column what you do, you add 1 plus 2 frequency. In third column what you do, you add 2 plus 3 frequencies. Fourth column, you add 1 plus 2 plus third frequency. Fifth column you do. You add second plus third plus fourth frequency and the sixth column you add third plus fourth plus fifth frequency. Right? So in the first column what you do you check out the highest frequency. So the highest frequencies are two this time. 10 and 10. Right? Now let's make the second column by adding first and second we get 3. By adding 2 and 10, we get 12. By adding 10 and 4, we get 14. 4 plus 10, we get 14. Oh, sorry, not this way. So, first plus second, 1 and 2, we get 3. Then 10 and 4, we get 14. Then 10 plus 9, we get 19. So, we are left with 1, so we will leave 1. Then, second and third frequency, we will start from the second frequency. So we let 2 and 10, which is 12. Then we will let 4 and 10, that is 14. Then we will add 9 and 2, that is 11. So in the fourth table uh, column, what we will do is add the first, second, and third frequency, which is 1, 2, 1 plus 2 plus 10, which is 13. Then 4 plus 10 plus 9, which is 23 then we are left with only one frequency but in four table we take three frequencies continuously after that we will make the fifth table 2 plus 3 plus 4 we will start from the second frequency 2 3 and 4 which is 2 plus 10 plus 4 which is 16 then 10 plus 9 plus 2 which is 21 then in the fifth, sixth column we take from the third frequency that is from 10, 4 and 10. So 10, 4 and 10. We get 24. And then we are left with only two frequencies but in sixth column we take the sum of three frequencies. So we leave the other frequencies. Right? Now what we will do, we will mark the highest frequency in the columns. So in column 1 there are two frequencies which are highest that is 10 and 10. 19 is the highest frequency, then here 14 is the highest frequency, then 23 is the highest frequency, 21 and in this only 24. So, column 1, we have 10 as the highest frequency in 10 to 15, then 10 is the highest frequency in the class 20 to 25, right? Column 2, we have 19 as the frequency which is made of 10 plus 9. So 10 plus 9 is in the 20 to 25 and 25 to 30. In third column, we have 14 as the highest frequency 
which is made of 4 and 10 4 plus 10 in column 4th we have the highest frequency is 23 which is made of 4 10 and 93 in 5th table we have the highest frequency 21 which is made of 10 9 and 2 in 6th column we have 24 as the highest frequency which is made up of 10 4 and 10 now this we have uh, and uh, taken out the information from the group grouping table now we will make the analysis table now in analysis table we used to take the columns we have 6 column 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and then total then we have the classes we will take 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 then 30 to 35 now we will tick in uh, which the highest frequency comes so in first column the highest frequency is 10 which comes in two classes that is 10 to 15 and 20 to 25 in column 2 we have 10 plus 9 which was 19 as the highest frequency which comes in 20 to 25 and 25 to 30 third column we have 4 plus 10 so 15 to 20 and 10 20 to 25 then we have the other fourth uh, uh, column we had 4 plus 10 plus 9 so 4 10 and 9 15 20 20 25 and 25 to 30 fifth column we have 10 plus 9 plus 2 it starts from 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35. And in the 6th column, in the last column, we have 10, 4 and 10. So 10, 4 and 10, which is 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. So we'll count the number of ticks. We'll add here it's 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, and one so the sixth is the highest number so your model class we've got the model class in this this is your model class right we were not able to find out the model class just because we have the same number of frequency 10 and 10 so in order to find out the model class we did the grouping method we made the grouping table and we did the analysis table. So from the analysis table, the highest frequency, the total is 6. So 6 is corresponding to 2025 class. So 2025 is your model class. Now let's find out the mode. Now we have find out the model class. So this is the frequency 1. So preceding frequency is frequency 0. Succeeding frequency is F. So we can use the same method L1 plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into I. So you can find out the mode L1. The lower limit of the model class is 20. F1 is 10 then minus 4 then 2 into 10 minus 4 minus 9 into I that is the size. 20, 25 minus 20 is 5. So we can solve it. 6. Then 20 minus 4 minus 9 into 5. So we have 20. So this plus, plus 6 divided by 7 into 5. We got 20 plus 30 divided by 7 which we will get 24.29 so your mode in this case is 24.29
so you can find out using the inspection method if you get, uh, you have only one frequency which is highest but if you find more frequencies as the highest frequency in the given question you have to use the grouping method in order to find out the model class i hope you have completely understood this method do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us